Previously, we have learned how to make our falling platforms. All these five parts here were made into falling platforms. And we did this by inserting a script into one of the parts. And then we copy and paste the script into all the other parts. So now all these five parts have the same exact script and that turned them into falling platforms. In general, when you are duplicating the same exact script all over the place, it is considered bad coding practice. Let's now learn of a way to turn all these platforms into falling platform, but we're going to use only one single script to do that instead of having duplicate copies of the same script all over the place. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into these parts, the falling platforms, and I'm going to delete all these scripts from those parts. So those parts now, they have no script inside of them. We're now going to go to our service script service, and we're going to insert a script. You can name your script falling platforms and insert the following lines into your script. On the first line here, we're getting all the children of that folder, the falling platform folder, which means we're picking up all the, the falling platform pieces and we put them into this array. We're using the for in i pairs loop to loop through all the parts in that array. And for each of those parts, we're adding a touch event to the part to listen for when the part is touched. And we're changing the anchor property to false to make it fall down. This is a single script that is going to turn all the parts inside that folder, the falling platform folder, into falling platform. So any part that you place inside this folder from now on, it's going to turn them into a falling platform when touched. Let's play test now and take a look. And here we go. So all these five platforms, they should be falling platforms. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, they all fell down. And that is how you avoid making duplicate scripts inside your games.